Okay. Um, here's my chalk. Okay, so three liters of CL. We don't know the volume of H2. That's what we want to find. So I would just do think stoichiometry. Three liters. It's an STP, so I can use volume to volume ratios. Three liters of CO. And I have, oh, let's balance this. There's propane, so we better put three COs. Um, if there's three COs, there's three oxygen, so there's three waters. And that makes, on the right hand side, 14 hydrogens. So I better put a seven here. I think that balances. So we got three hydrogens on each side. We have three oxygens. We have 14 H's. Okay. So now we say that there's 3.0 liters of CO for every 7.0 liters of H2. There we go. Whatever that is. So if you want to do it the long way, you convert this to moles either with the ideal gas law or 22.4 liters per mole. Then you go molar ratio, and then you convert back, and you get the liters. Which not it? Uh-huh. I guess it's seven. I'm a math savant. <laughs> Great. Oh. Okay. Is that cool? So it's, this is the law of, what is it, combining volumes. Chapter 6. Leader to leader ratios when you're at or very close to STP. That'll work. Any questions on this one? Fantastic. Yeah, I made it easier than I thought. I would consider this a very easy question. Then. <laughs> but when you read it, I can very tricky. Yeah. It reads tricky, actually, it's very easy. <laughs>